Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. For the first time ever, I waited over 24 hours to release a video about a new event's value. Now, some could say, Prof, are you being lazy? Is that old age getting to you? And of course my answer is, probably. But we have, aside from the people who claim that their score has not been accurately compiled, of which there are many, a seven-star celebration for 14 days, or two full calendar weeks, including weekends, that has truly some of the best claimable items we have seen, starting with a four-star rank-up relic. I don't know why I said rank-up, it's just four-star relic. And then seven star shards, and then paragon crystals, and then a tier six basic and a tier three alpha, 500 units, three more paragon crystals, 2,500 more seven star shards, a five star relic crystal, which Kabam, for the record, still values this at like over $100 somehow. I disagree. Then 700 more units, then two tier 6 basic, and 2 tier 3 alpha, giving you a guarantee of enough to take a 6 star 2 rank 4 if you want. And then, this is where it starts getting real crazy. Third of a 7 star, 5 paragon crystals, which is a thousand units worth. But this is, this is the first. This is the, is it worth it? A 6 star relic, now again, I, I don't think it's worth it, but could be to quite a few people. And then a thousand units, and then this is really what I definitely think is worth it. Because we still don't see these much at all. And as somebody who wants to take Nick Fury to rank 5, I'm just saying. I only need one more of those to have that many. It would be pretty amazing. Pretty awesome. And then finally a 7 star crystal. Which still sort of looks like that new Blue Beetle DC comic book movies symbol, but purple. So part of the reason why it's such a tough thing to wonder is that the last uh, is 130,000. That's 130,000 points to get everything. 130K. And there's only two ways to get points in this event, of course. There's opening a 7-star, which is not easy at all. And then a Paragon Crystal gives you 800 points. So let's just say, because like statistically speaking... Most Paragon players are able to open at least one or two seven stars. But we're just going to say for the sake of argument, the 130,000 points are not uh, achievable via opening seven stars. You can only open Paragon and Crystals to get them. Well, that's essentially 163 Paragon Crystals to get that number. And 163 Paragon Crystals times 200 units is 32,000 600 units and again that's worst case scenario that's if you don't open a seven star and you can think of opening a seven star as approximately three paragon crystals worth of value because it's 2400 points versus 2500 points technically there's a hundred point difference and 32,600 units is of course almost well i guess you 3100 times 1000 yeah, basically you're looking at $1,100 safely. Because if you were to buy, of course, 10 of those, it would be 31,100 units. Um, and you would need 32,600. So let's just say Let's just say a minimum of $1,000 worth of Paragon Crystals. 30,000 units. Is $1,000, and now of course that doesn't count, part of what's tricky about this, that doesn't count the actual champions you opened in those crystals. So, that's a ton of gold and ISO and hopefully at least one 7 star. If you open 100 and, we'll say 60 Paragon Crystals and don't get a 7 star, which I'm sure some people have run into that unfortunately, but man, that's all time awful. RNG. I think, to me, if you're going to do it, 
do it for the rank up materials, the tier six basic, the tier three alpha, and most importantly, what I care about most, and that is this. Is this worth over a thousand dollars? To a lot of people, no. To me, maybe, because I have saved up that many units for a, an event like this. And if I can get all of this without spending any cash, because this is why I hoard tens of thousands of units and battleships or anything else, yeah. Plus, we've had so many incredibly generous donations that I want to pour right back into the channel that this is why this is why I hoard the cash worth of purchases for stuff like this. To honor Stephen Burris and Ryan Veda and Jasper and Kick Rocks and Caveman OG, Danger Darren and Mama Bear and so many others. So you gotta make that decision for you, for yourself. All I know is um, I think I'm gonna go for it. 95% of the uh, chat on Monday night's broadcast said I should. So peer pressure, haha, <laughs> yay.